Good morning everybody, welcome to Mortal Gaming, this is me again, Marvin, and we're now here for another video for Ragnarok Origin. And this time we're going to be looking at the official patch notes for the upcoming patch tomorrow, and it's gonna be releasing the Juno other maps such as the Mag Magma Dungeon and the other maps wherein you could find more new monsters. Okay, so it's this one, there you go. So, April 17 patch notes, of course, they're gonna draw in first the Krakens because of the Requiem of Nidhogg. It's a new mythic outfit. So, ready your 3,000 USDs there. <laughs> okay, so it is this one. Next. Oh, I believe I have told you that it was 150 or 200 um, each. So, it's gonna be 250 pieces alone for the costume. And that's multiplied by 200 each for each crystal that you need. So, that's a total of five uh, or 50,000 pesos or 1,000 USD alone for the costume alone. Okay? It's still gonna sum up to 3,000 USD. Anyway... Tournament schedule for the Odin's Cup. I believe you can already see it on the schedule of the Odin Cup on the window. And next, Odin Cup packs, etc. So those are for the pay-to-win people. Uh, new map, okay, Juno. I believe uh, we have already, uh, you know, witnessed the Juno map. But the Juno field and the Magma Dungeon itself, we haven't, uh, you know, we haven't been there so it's gonna be released finally and then there's a new storyline update next would be the moonlit arena new season it's season four now next would be five equipment presets so instead of three you can now get to up to five i do hope that they add uh, presets for the sigil again i'm repeating myself they they have to add more presets to the sigils Anyway, Sky City is here. Another pay-to-win event. And, eh. <laughs> and the next uh, outfit would be the Emerald Breeze. So I have uh, I have my Taiwan server um, account or Taiwan account, Taiwan character here. So that we could view the stats here. Okay, for the, for the headgear, it's this one. Um, I believe it says here it's going to be Angler's Delight. But here it's Art Fisherman's hat. Okay, so we have damage and magic damage, 4.5% attack speed. And when you refine to plus 10, crit damage plus 3%. And on plus 15, physical damage plus 8% after not moving for one second. And then this bonus will be lost after moving. <laughs> this is very great on MVP and Juperos. And that's it. For the Rangers, it's also good for the Rangers. And then on plus 18, uh, physical attack plus 5%. And then that's it. Okay. So for our face, it's also the, uh, what do you call this one? Artist. Oh, no, no, it's not. Oh, Aqua Splash. Okay. For the face wear, um, it's the art pigment here. 3.5. Oh, you don't see it because of my large face. Now you see it, okay. <laughs> um, four vitality luck plus four, and then physical damage and magic damage 3.5 percent, global cooldown minus three percent, crit damage resist or defense 2.5 percent, crit damage reduction or protection 2 percent, and crit dam crit resist plus five. So nothing crazy out there. Next would be the back wear. Look at this, the back. Look at the back where it looks like a ref. <laughs> More so if you have it worn on your regular character, not a, uh, you know, not um, Doran character. It's still okay. It's still cute. <laughs> okay, art toolbox. So it is the artist kit. Okay. 3.5% physical damage, magic damage, strength plus 6, movement speed plus 3%. Physical attack plus 4%. And then physical attack plus 3% each time damage is caused within 6 seconds after releasing the skill. 
ignore physical defense also plus 2 and it stacks up to 20 layers 20 so that's a total of 6% physical attack and um, 40 ignore physical defense there's a downtime though 10 seconds downtime that's a lot anyway melee physical damage 2% on plus 18 so not interested too and then here it's i think it's hiking thing okay this one oh look at that so cute okay five percent physical attack and magical attack ignore defense six percent and magic defense attack speed movement speed four percent three percent at all stats plus four movement speed 1.5 percent on uh plus 10 so that's a total of 4.5 percent now on movement speed and damage reduction from wind earth water fire Plus 14%. That's a lot. Okay. And that, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Oh my goodness. Not good. Not good. I'm not interested in this uh, in this costume, in this gacha. So I'll still hold my gacha tickets. Although it's kind of cute. <laughs> okay. Then next would be the... Um, what do you call this one? The new battle pass. So, tropical vibe. Uh, it's it's still cute, but nothing too crazy. Then weekend pack, Kafra pack, all of those packs. <laughs> sa pack, good, gusto nyo sa pack. Then desire for battle for the new event. So this will be every weekend again. MVP Fever, we want this. This is one of the good good uh, recurrent events. <laughs> F2P events. Deverucci's offer, which is also good. Mili Stove, oh, this is also good. Okay, then improvements and bug fixes. Look at this bug fix. Uh, where, where is it? Where is it? This one, below, okay? Oh my goodness, I'm so sad about this. What is it? They fixed it. Apparently, it was a bug. The thing that I uh, made a video about wherein you can uh, just go to your VIP dimension and then just fight minis again and again. It has now been fixed. Okay, so fix an issue where mini appeared in private dimension. That's so sad. I'm so sad about this. So now I'm back to BBDB. <laughs> Next would be our uh, updates. Preview of future updates Odin Cup. New guild gameplay, new exploration, and optimized gameplay. Nothing crazy. No new, um, what they call this one? New content. Just new guild gameplay. And um, no wedding yet. No house. No new third jobs. So it's gonna be bland for a couple of weeks until we get to June. Uh, maybe they're focusing really on the Odin Cup. And yep, that's it. I'm gonna be uploading video guides for the uh, for the Odin uh, map. And that's it. Thank you everybody for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you happen to like this video, please do leave a like, share this to your friends, and click that bell notification button so you get notified every time I upload a new video, start a new stream, or a new content. That's it. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.